So let's say you want to establish convergent and discriminant validity for a beastly model like this. Run it using standardized estimates, go to its output, go to estimates, scalars, and then correlations, left click and then right click to copy, then go to my handy dandy stats tools package and go to the covariance cleaner tab down here at the bottom. Paste all your, uh, paste everything into A1. If there's stuff already there, just delete it and then paste it into A1. And then click on this click me button. Watch it magically restructure your data so that all the factors are put together in a nice little stack and all their correlations or shared variances are all together. Now before we do anything with this, we also want to go grab the um, standardized regression weights table right here. Left click, right click, copy, go back to the tool, paste this in here somewhere. I'm just going to paste it right down here. There it is. Now you're going to copy all the estimates, the shared variances for the first factor. For me, that's factor called CRF. Then I'm going to go to the validity tab. And I'm going to scroll down to row 55 because I have a really big um, model and uh, the other canvas areas are kind of small. I need this larger canvas. You're going to paste into the shared variance column. That's column C. Oh, it's protected apparently. Did I not copy? I didn't. Ha! <laughs> okay, copy and then paste and then click here on the standardized loadings go back to your covariance cleaner go find that factor for me it's CR for me that's at the bottom CR I have four regression weights for that copy those go back to the validity tab paste those in the standardized loadings column and voila we have CR, ABE, MSV, and ASV I'm going to copy those stick them in a Word document let's see here's a Word document I'm just going to paste those right in there and then I'm going to go back and do one more. So let's see, I'm going to delete this stuff right here. Delete. Don't delete anything that is uh, in yellow. That might cause problems. And don't delete green either. That'd be, that'd be problematic. Anyway, delete those. Go back to covariance cleaner and let's do the next factor. For me that's RC. So copy all the shared variances for RC. Control C. Go to validity tool or ability to tab, paste it in column C, go back to covariance cleaner, go find RC, for me it's at the top here, it only has three estimates, so copy those three, go back to validity, paste it in the standardized loadings, and there we go, we've got more, um, more values, I'm going to go paste those in my Word document right there. And you can just build up a nice little document, put, you know, like factor one, factor two on the left here, put another column on the left. The last thing I want to show you with this is that um, if you have issues with convergent or discriminant validity, they'll show up in red. So far, we haven't had any issues. But what happens if I change this to 0.44? Uh, look at that. These all turn red. Now, if CR or AVE turn red, you've got issues with convergent validity. If the MSV or ASV turn red, you've got issues with discriminant validity. The thresholds for those can be found here down in the validity tutorial tab in the help box. So for convergent validity, here are the thresholds. And for discriminant validity, here are the thresholds. If you have any questions, ask your neighbor. Or you could email me, I suppose. But use me as a second resort. Thanks. Bye.